What is up there SEO pros? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix basic website issues within the SEO roadmap. Now if you don't have this SEO roadmap, go ahead to the link in the description and grab it. It's totally worth it and it will make you money. Well, hopefully it will. But anyways, what we're going to be doing is just going to be telling you how to identify these different issues and then how to fix them. So here we got site redirects preferred version, robots.txt, sitemap, fav icon, accelerated mobile pages and or AMP and CTA above the fold. So let's start out with site redirects to preferred version. So when you're going to be doing an audit, you want to make sure that the site redirects the preferred version. What does that mean? It means that if you type in a website, you're hoping that chasedrainer.com goes to the same address no matter which way you type it in. Without HTTPS, with HTTPS, with WW, without WW, and so on and so on. <clears throat> so, as you can see here, it doesn't redirect. So we need to fix that. I don't know why it doesn't redirect. Well, we did actually migrate this from Squarespace recently. So let me go contact the web designer after this and say, dude, what the heck? But anyways, you can see here, that's a major problem. <laughs> anyways, the way you fix that is within your hosting. And that's really gonna depend on the specific type of hosting you're using. So I'm gonna say for this one, we're going to skip how to fix that because like I said, it's really gonna depend on your hosting, but it's a really easy fix. You pretty much just call up your hosting company and tell them to do that, fix it for you if you don't know how to do it yourself. Next, we have robots.txt. The way you find out what your robots.txt looks like is you're just gonna go over to your website and I'm gonna do the one that actually doesn't have the redirect. I'm actually really glad I did this tutorial right now so I could fix that. Uh, we got robots.txt. So the way you do that is you just do uh, your website name forward slash robots.txt. Now, in general, you'll be fine with just having a user agent with the star and then disallow WP admin, allow WP admin forward slash admin dash Ajax. In terms of what all this stuff means, um, you know, I'm not really 100% uh, sure, but I can tell you that one of the things you are going to want in there is your sitemap within your robots.txt. Um, pretty much this means disallow certain sections of uh, your website, so don't crawl these certain sections like wp-admin. Uh, and then I guess it means allow these different uh, things like this, wp-admin admin, admin slash ajax php. That's what I don't really understand right there. But overall, if you want to disallow certain parts of your website like categories or tags or something, you can do that within your robots.txt. I find it easier just to uh, no index the actual pages within the pages themselves. So the way you're going to edit your robots.txt, or sorry, sorry, one more thing I'm going to say is if you go in here and there's certain things like crawl delay, which I don't think is necessary, you can take that out. Or if there's, let's say, for instance, you're disallowing certain pages that you want to get crawled, like say, for instance, you look at a robots.txt and it's the whole website's being disallowed, like this website's being no indexed. So you're going to want to go and take that out. Now, the way you edit this is within uh, WordPress. What you're going to do is you're going to go into your website, uh, your domain, forward slash WP admin. You're going to log in and you're going to download a plugin called Yoast. Now, if you don't have Yoast, I would get that uh, first of all. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go into Yoast itself. So you're going to click on Yoast. You're going to go into, uh, sorry, sorry, tools. You're going to then go into, uh, where is it? file editor and if you don't have a robots.txt file it'll say create one and then you create one and now you can edit it all within your Yoast plugin so that's how you're going to do that pretty easy next we have the sitemap so what you're going to do for that is just going to go to your website chase Reiner, or whatever your website is and you do forward slash sitemap.xml hopefully it's there I have Yoast it comes with Yoast if you don't have Yoast and you don't have any using a different sitemap just make sure you're looking at it and that everything looks okay on it. Now, if you want to test any problems further, you can go to Search Console and submit your sitemap and see if there's any errors. But generally, I just check to see if, if there is a sitemap in general. So next we have Fave Icon. Now, Fave Icon is a little like icon you'll see it in the tabs over here, and it's nice to have. Uh, the way you add that is depending on your WordPress theme, some of them will actually come with your uh, theme, 
Otherwise, you can just go to plugins, add new, and then look up fave icon uh, generator, I believe. Let me see. Fave icon. <clears throat> fave icon generator. Um, all in one fave icon. All of these work, I believe. Uh, most of these work. I know I've used this one in the past. I used this one in the past. You just install it and then you add your fave icon in there. If you want to find fave icons, just look up free fave icons and you can find free fave icons here on this website. And then you just download them, take the icon uh, image that it gives you that you download and then just add it to the plugin. Next, we have AMP or accelerated mobile pages. And what those are are basically instant lightning uh, fast loading pages that you can access on Google. Let's say, for instance, we look up like Chase Reiner and say we look that up on a mobile phone. Well, if you have an AMP enabled, it'll actually enable some of these blog posts to instantly load when you click on them. So how that works is, I don't know how, how I have my own Chase Reiner. That's really weird. I don't know why I'm on there. Um, <laughs> so how that works is you're going to take a plugin called AMP by WordPress, I believe. Let me just go look it up. AMP. AMP for WordPress. You're going to install that. And then you'll have AMP enabled. Um, I think some of these plugins might work better now. I would check the reviews. This is what I was using in the past. The reason why I don't usually use AMP is because most of the time you can't customize it. You can't really put like call to actions like you would want to within your website unless you know how to edit AMP pages and it's kind of a pain. So most of the time I'll just put not applicable unless maybe it's like a news site or something where you want to have instant load uh, articles or maybe a, a search where a lot of other people are using AMP and you want to be able to enable that as well. Lastly, we have call to action above the fold. So that's basically just going to a website and making sure that there's a big button above the fold, meaning above where people have to scroll. That's above the fold. And if there is, great. If you don't know how to add that, it's probably within your theme as well. You just go in and add a button or a call to action, same sort of thing. So that's pretty much it. That's the first section of here of the website basics. Now you guys know how to look for these things and how to fix them as well. So I hope that was helpful for some of you. And if you have any other questions, make sure you leave a comment and let me know. And if you want to contact me for any reason, just head over to chasefinder.com forward slash contact and let me know if you need anything. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Until I see you all next time, happy SEOing.